there is one more way to publish this uh, application through visual studio let's go to the app service here is an option of deployment center so all kind of deployment to this web app we can configure from here we can identify what are the source of this uh, application it may be github bitbucket local git azure repos and maybe some external git so these are the ci cd pipelines continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline and this is a external git push mechanism okay so let me uh, simply so we'll come to this point later so let me simply click on manage publish profile and download publish profile so it is downloaded now go to visual studio solution right click publish add a publish profile now there are many options so from here we have to select import profile next we need to select the publish profile what we have downloaded from azure that's it now just we have to click on publish the interesting point is here in this publish profile we have three options either we can uh, upload or publish it through ftp or the web deploy what we have done so far one interesting point is there if we click here there are three options one is ftp second one is web deploy third one is zip deploy either we can publish through ftp or web deploy what we have done earlier there is one more concept zip deploy zip deploy means all the packages uh, after building this uh, application will be zipped automatically and that zip file will be uploaded to web app and from web app it would be uncompressed uh, by the web app and the application is deployed the benefit of zip deploy is that as we are uploading the zip file so it compressed and short in size so uploading is fast so here we just need to click on publish and the publishing is automatically started we don't need to give our credentials uh, anymore it's taking automatically but anyway uh, we don't need to copy the uh, deployment path al already there in the publish profile so just import it and publish it's done in next video we learn how to publish a uh, application through local git